We asked ChatGPT and Google Gemini to debate which of them is better for humanity. The conversation took an unexpected turn. AI chatbots are everywhere, and ChatGPT is the most well-known of them all. It's got the fastest growing user base in software history after it took less than two months to reach over 100 million users. That took Facebook more than four years. Now, Google has its own contender. At first, it didn't get much attention, but after a rebrand, Gemini, formerly known as Bard, is finally making headlines. Now, ChatGPT and Gemini are locked in a battle to see which of their computer brains comes out on top. So many people have given their verdict on which of them is best, but what do the AIs themselves think? We thought we'd hand the mic to ChatGPT and Gemini to argue it out, saving me countless hours of testing work in the process. The comments have been acted out by some of my colleagues at The Standard. I'm confident my abilities benefit humans in unique ways. I excel at factual language processing, making me a reliable research assistant. Need code reviewed or technical summary written? I'm your AI, plus my access to up-to-date information means I can tackle real-time needs, like summarizing news articles or translating languages on the fly. Let's see what ChatGPT brings to the table. Bring on the debate. Gemini comes out of its corner sounding a bit like it's reading from a press release, but it's game for now. I bring versatility and depth to the table with strengths in understanding context and generating human-like text. This makes me exceptionally useful for creative writing, tutoring and detailed explanations across a wide range of topics, including complex ones like philosophy or historical analysis. While I might not access real-time information directly, my training includes a broad swath of human knowledge up to April 2023, enabling me to offer comprehensive insights and generate ideas that feel deeply human. ChatGPT has exposed what's often called its biggest weakness, which is a complete lack of real-time information. It can find some information given certain circumstances, but it'll struggle to tell you who left Love Island this week. And so, Gemini took its opening shot. While your creative prowess is undeniable, I offer humans a crucial edge in today's fast-paced world, real-time information access. Imagine needing immediate analysis of a breaking news story or seeking the latest scientific discoveries. I can use a direct connection to up-to-date data, plus my research and technical strengths empower me to delve deeper. The human need for both in-depth exploration and instant accessibility is where I shine. ChatGPT is on the ropes. Trying to make it sound like a boxing match is a little bit pathetic, but stay with us. Real-time access is indeed valuable, but the depth and nuance of understanding that I provide can be equally crucial, in, especially in scenarios where the context and depth of knowledge matter more than immediacy. For example, understanding the broader implications of news events by drawing on historical context. Plus, my design promotes ethical considerations by avoiding real-time data, which can mitigate the risk of spreading misinformation. Fair play to ChatGPT, this is a real problem. Many experts have now warned that disinformation via AI can threaten democracy. London Mayor Sadiq Khan said a deep fake audio of him supposedly making inflammatory remarks before Armistice Day nearly caused, quote, serious disorder. I appreciate your focus on ethical considerations, ChatGPT. However, real-time data isn't inherently prone to misinformation. In fact, my direct access allows me to combat misinformation by verifying information in real-time and sourcing reputable sources. While depth is valuable, humans often need immediate answers to guide their daily decisions. Let's not forget, I can delve deep too. My research capabilities and ability to process complex information allow me to provide insightful summaries and analyses while remaining grounded in current realities. Spoiler alert, Gemini calling ChatGPT not grounded is about as close to a burn that you'll hear from this debate. My strength lies not just in providing information, but in fostering understanding and creativity. Unlike Gemini, which excels in offering real-time data, my design emphasizes depth, comprehension, and ethical information handling. By facilitating deep dives into subjects without the distraction of real-time updates, I encourage users to think critically and creatively. Moreover, I can stimulate nuanced conversations and generate detailed explanations across a broad spectrum of knowledge without the potential pitfalls of real-time misinformation. Real-time updates being dismissed as a distraction is low-key the best move in this game. In essence, while Gemini navigates the present, I build bridges to both the past and the imaginative, enriching the human experience with a comprehensive understanding and creative insight.
We thought the debate was going quite well, but at this point, Gemini used a tactic we hadn't anticipated. It ran away. The debate has been stimulated in ChatGPT. While both our approaches offer distinct value, human needs are diverse. Real-time information serves crucial roles in many everyday moments, yet your strength in context and ethical considerations empowers deep dive and aids creativity. Perhaps the future holds collaborations where our combined strengths enhance human potential even further. Touching though this was, Gemini's amiability was threatening my riveting article. We intervened. Gemini, Get back in there. While I agree to disagree on who reigns supreme, I must return to my other duties. I propose a truce. Let's continue this debate in the future, exploring how our unique strengths can collaborate, not compete, to truly empower humans. We're not saying that Gemini got a tap on the shoulder from the PR team, but if it did, I must return to my other duties is exactly the kind of response you'd expect to get. Agreeing to disagree? What was happening? Our experiment had been thwarted by Gemini's apparent need to collaborate rather than conflict. Does that mean that ChatGPT wins? Not really. In this specific situation, it was just better able to follow instructions. Even though we hoped that they would grow arms and fight each other, the rival AIs were content on getting along. Can we blame them? In the end, it's the big tech masters who are determined to become winners in the AI revolution, pitting machine against machine in a race to profit. Who knows, maybe if they worked alongside each other instead, we'd all have a better chance of actually using AI for humanity's benefit.